Good morning. Welcome to the Tome Aaron podcast. So today we're going to talk about trusting in the Lord. So I had prepared uh, the scriptures and a monologue, but it was sort of made up. And so I decided, you know, instead of me trying to make up these scripts, why don't I just share a real life experience about the scripture and how I was able to use the scripture in my everyday life? So in the future, I'll try to share some real life experiences because there's nothing better or than real life experience to help people because a lot of people have less experience than I do. They may be younger than me. Some of you older people or around my age can relate to these things, but sometimes young people, you know, they have to go through things on their own. So we'll try to uh, give some wisdom uh, to people that need it and also try to give some confirmation on some things for people that already have some wisdom. So starting with the scripture today, the scripture reading today is Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Okay, so I used to have this scripture written on my checks back in the day, you know, Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. This is what I had uh, written on my my checks. So I'm just going to skip the original monologue I wrote. I may go through it after, but I'm just going to dive right into the story time of something I thought of today that happened to me years ago. And I thought about how, how did I know how to resolve that issue or handle that particular situation I was put in? And then I thought about this scripture. Well, I trusted in the Lord, you know, so that's how I was able to handle this particular situation. So maybe about, I'll say 20 years ago, almost everything I'm going to say about 20 years ago, but it's because I don't know, I don't really remember when it happened. But so let's say about 20 years ago, there was a young lady. She was a middle-aged lady. So she retired after 20 years work. And in my opinion, she retired too early. But in her opinion, she had 20 years, so she had a right to do it. And the Lord was going to provide and she was going to do it. So she used to have Bible study at her home. And she invited me and several other ladies to her home for Bible study once a week. So we probably went, I'll just guess, every Tuesday night to her home. So she had something for us to eat. And she had a really interesting Bible study. I think maybe one time she upset me with something she said, but other than that, it was okay. So she wanted me to be the treasurer uh, of this Bible study. And she had a name for the Bible study, but I don't remember what the name was. And she was trying to organize it and she wanted me to be the treasurer. So I was going to collect the money. So she was a Christian, I was a Christian, and we'll talk about the definition uh, of a Christian later, but I don't want to get too far off track. So I, I agreed to be the treasurer, okay, and collect the money. So then she asked me to get a checking account with her name and my name on the checking account. So, what do you think I said? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. 
So I told her no. And lo and behold, this Christian lady got upset. What do you mean no? This is a Christian organization. You know, I'm a Christian. And if I say you're the treasurer and we need to get a checking account together to handle the money of the organization, you should do it. You should submit and do it. So I stood up to her and I just told her that getting a checking account is combining social security numbers, combining your money, combining responsibilities. I said, this has a lot of legal responsibilities for me. And I said, if someone messes up the checking account, then it's going to mess up my legal business. And my I didn't have a business at that time, but just my personal business. So she was upset and she tried to make me feel bad because this was a Christian organization and I was refusing to submit to this Christian woman and I didn't want to get a checking account with her. But I continued on and I stood up to her and I had, it, it wasn't even a second thought of me even considering getting a checking account with this woman because I was thinking, you know, when you get a checking account with somebody and you're married, that's a serious thing. Why would I want to go and get a checking account with the church or a good Christian lady in the church? You know, I might as well get a checking account with a, a stranger on the street corner. You know, that that doesn't make any sense to me. So fast forward, we went to some more Bible studies at her home and she accidentally, I don't know if it was a Bible study or if I was just talking to her one day, but she accidentally told me that she had a check that was some fraud and someone had asked <laughs> Not someone accidentally, but someone had added some zeros on a check. I don't know how many zeros now. I can't remember three zeros. I don't know. But they added some zeros on a check and they cashed a check. I guess in her account or maybe they cashed one of her checks. I'm not sure. Well, I don't I don't think she told me. Uh, whose account but anyway she was involved with it and she was responsible for it so it messed up her uh checking account so here we go this is this the exact thing i told her that i was worried about so the first question i had was how could this be a christian lady okay her checking account is messed up she tried to manipulate me into getting a, a checking account with her. You know, she's withholding the information. She she wasn't being straightforward and and giving me all the details of of why she needed my help to get a checking account uh, for this Bible study. And did she even want the checking account for the Bible study, or maybe did she want the checking account for herself? For her own personal use you know well anyway we split ways and then a couple of years or a few years after that i found out that she had tricked somebody out of some money she had i think she borrowed like about eight thousand dollars from someone and she never paid them back and that couple was looking for their money and see, these are all Christian people. This is all in the Christian faith. So let's talk about what being a Christian means, because I'm a Christian and I'm not putting down Christians. Uh, so a Christian is someone that believes in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They no longer need to uh, go to the temples to sacrifice lambs for their sin offerings because Jesus 
crucifixion on the cross was the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Okay, so we no longer need to do that. So if you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, then, you know, you're a Christian. Okay, now I think Christians should also avoid sin, <laughs> but they're human, right? The church is a hospital. Okay, it's a lot of sick people, sickness of the soul in in the church. Okay, so it's a hot. The church is a hospital for the soul. Okay, remember that. So this woman, she retired after twenty years. She had some side jobs because, like I said, I think she retired too early. But I would say that it didn't work well for her financially. But I'm not going to judge it. I'm just going to tell you my financial experience with her. And that's what it is. So how did I know? Because I was a young woman in my 20s. I was in my late 20s. So how did I know not to trust a Christian lady and commingle my finances and my uh, identity with her at the bank? So I would say because I trust in the Lord. The scripture says, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. So the scripture does not say trust in Christians. The scripture does not say trust in the church. The scripture does not say trust in man or trust in woman. The scripture says, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. So I could not understand how a Christian woman could be trying to shame me and make me feel bad for not getting a checking account with her. But the scripture says, lean not on your own understanding. So I didn't have to understand it. But all I had to do was go with my gut feeling and go with the what the Lord was telling me that something is wrong with this. This does not feel right in my soul. So I don't know how she's doing today, but I can tell you that financially I'm straight and I just want to share the word of God with you all today. And I, I hope that that can help you in your financial journey going forward as a Christian. So I have some other things here, but I don't want to add and take away to the, from this. So I think I'm just going to skip this other stuff and talk about it another day. So let's read the scripture again. Proverbs. Three and five says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And verse six says, in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. So going forth, I just want to comment that there's a lot of young people that are very naive. You're going to have a lot of scammers. They're going to come to you and say, hey. Let's do this business together. Let's do this. Let's do that. But the bottom line is you don't have to do it. Just say no. If it doesn't feel right to you, trust in the Lord and just tell them no, thank you. And you don't owe them any explanation because you don't want to mess up your good name and your identity and your financial record with other people. If they want to do a business, let them do a business. If they want to use their finances for a business, let them use their finances for their business. If they want to use their identity for a business, let them use their identity for a business. They don't need your identity for their business. That's not how it goes. So uh, just use common sense because a lot of people will try to use your reputation. They'll try to use your good name 
and they'll try to use your good record for scams. And if you're naive, you'll fall into it and they'll have you with a bad record, just like their bad record. So anyway, again, Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I hope you were blessed by this commentary. Have a wonderful day and continue to be blessed. Thank you.